Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had came back to camp and we decided we're going to talk with the rest of the crew after all of that, <laughs> that has transpired in the last couple of days. Uh, we had dealt with Redcliffe's Menace, which was a bunch of undead, which was summoned by a demon. That was inhabiting the son of Arl Eamon. Uh, <laughs> because he accidentally ripped the Fade open enough that she took him over. And uh, it was more or less his mother's fault for letting that happen. Because she tried to keep it all secret. And had he just went to the circle, none of it probably would have happened. Ah. Uh, of course, with the circle, there is the risk of being tranquil, which is mildly concerning if you know about it. But uh, I don't think that's a I don't think that's a well-known enough secret for most people to realize that that is a thing. Give me a second; I'm leaning a little closer. Okay, so uh, that's a thing. <laughs> Uh, we managed to save him at the cost of his mother because we had a blood mage with us who was an infinitely easier and more honestly, uh, <laughs> more honestly, a more effective route to dealing with the demon without killing the kid. Um, it's unfortunate, but... It at least saved the kid. Then the mother was a willing to do what she needed to to save his life. So, ambiguously gray choice. Yay. That's, that's what I'm known for. Okay, so, uh, let's go talk to Sandal and Bodan. Or Bodan? I don't you remember how it's pronunciation. Folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Good to hear. So what's your story exactly? Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. Thank you, I, I appreciate that. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. Gotcha. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. Hmm. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. Understandable. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles love them. Yeah, I'm sure. Of them of the lost glory days, I suppose. And of course, rich people will spend their money on all the stupid shit. Did you did you all recently hear about uh, <laughs> rich people of like a long time ago getting their pills cast in like gold and silver before they had them, which like made it impossible for them to actually get the medicinal effects because. Yeah. They're stupid and rich and wanted to have something gold and silver pass through their system. So they essentially just shat out the pills and nothing <laughs> actually went through their system. So they just died of the thing they were sick of because they insisted on it. That, that's, that's actually, that's, a, that's an actual thing. I'm not even lying. Go look it up. <laughs> rich people did that. Like, way back when. Uh, because you know, they were like, Hey, I, I, I'm rich enough. I can afford to have these pills covered in gold and silver uh, entirely. And make them absolutely worthless to me. Because, <laughs> of course. Alright. Enough of me shitting on the rich. Uh, as they shit out gold and silver and then die of it. Anyway, um, why did you leave? One day. A noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Really? Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. Huh. He'd been lost in a cave in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. Oh, I they see. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. Oh. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Yeah. They're touchy like that. A little bit. 
Did you steal them, though? I mean, I can understand why she was upset if that was the case. Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. Ah. Oh. The lost tides. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. So the people you... Better to do something with them than leave them to rot. Yeah, but... So you were paying someone else to do it and they just didn't know. That's exactly how I see it. The noblewoman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Fair enough. I bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. Fair enough. You're quite lucky to have done so well, considering. I thank the stone every single day. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? I think, uh... But where do these goods come from? Not the deep roads. Look, we... We don't rob people, all right? I didn't... We don't take things I didn't insinuate that. Need them. I didn't things insinuate the that. Lost tigers, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. What do you mean? People flee from the blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. It's hmm. not so bad. They destroy everything they touch. I mean, I suppose it's better than having the Darkspawn take it all. That's what I tell myself, too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. You're not wrong. You didn't mention your son in your tale at that... I just noticed that. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't mention him at all. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal uh -huh. here. I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. Okay. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. It may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. Oh, I see. So he's, he's, a, that's he's right, adopted. Boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. I mean, blood isn't all that important. That's how I've always felt. As long as he's happy, so am I. It's and not as if go. I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boys are natural working with enchantments. He might have even been leery addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. Really? He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. I mean, have you ever considered maybe he could run it? I mean... It's possible. I wouldn't be surprised if he could. No, not really. Alright, uh, have you heard any rumors? Dark spawn have attacked Lothering. I don't think everyone even had fled by the time they came either. Mm. Word has it they swarmed the entire area, making off with prisoners and burning down the buildings. And then they were gone. Just as quick. I just noticed your hands facing through your form. Left. I heard some chanters were going to head down south, maybe to try to find some survivors. And I'm not holding out hope myself. I see. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Fair enough. So, yeah, that. Yeah, we find out more about those events in Dragon Age 2, but yeah, that's, that's still a damn shame that happened. Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. That would be nice, too. Uh, nothing particularly good here. Then again, it's nothing particularly able to be bought. Sylvan's Mercy, huh? Be, uh... Okay. Yeah, that would probably be best for... M probably Morrigan? I want to say Morrigan? Anyway. Conspirator's Foil. 
Uh, 20. That's a, that's the same thing I'm wearing. <laughs> Boy, I got lucky to get that then. Huh. Fair enough. Proving Helm, which is bleh. Silver Hammer's Tack Masters? It's a hardened leather, isn't it? Yeah, hardened leather. Okay. Extraordinarily useful on the battlefield. Such boots from this reclusive cord waner change hands only on very violent or expensive occasions. Fair enough. Uh, arming cowl. Huh. I could get this. Chanter's arming cap. I could get that for Morgan, I think. Maybe. Hmm. Black leather collar. Um, I think that's more of a piff thing. Armor penetration and two armor. <laughs> Heavy black leather from which a Mabari, hopefully, can't wriggle free. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the hope, isn't it? And I have not put anything on piff which requires... Paint. Huh. At least when it comes to this, I might not. Because that only deals with specific damage types. I want a generalized... A generalized thing. Uh, I might hold on to this, though. Um, iron ring... I don't think that was... Yeah. It's not even going to be worth it. Uh, yeah, we'll just sell it. Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, Dalish pendants. Okay, fair enough. Got some acid flasks, which. Eh, don't really need all that many. Don't really use them all that much either. Demonic poison. Yeesh. Oh, and it's a. Coating for the weapons. Okay, fair enough. Since that's a throne, I don't need it. Uh, okay. Whoopsie doopsie. Keep doing that. Tome of Arcane Technique and Tome of Physical Technique. Huh. Tome gives the reader one point to spend on a talent or spell, but is rendered useless afterward. You mean the book is rendered useless? I mean, I hope that's what you mean. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, concentrator agent. Concentrate the effects of many potions, salves, and poisons. Fair enough. I still have not figured out which... Or how I can give gifts to uh, buddies. I've not figured that out yet. Hmm. I guess I'll figure that out at some point. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. I set those for junk. Right. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. Alrighty. No more inventory management. Woo. Alright, Leliana. Yes? Something you need? Yeah, I just want to talk to you about stuff. Yes? What's on your mind? Uh, why did you decide to come to... Fr I think we talked about these. I think we talked about these, actually. Never mind. A sten. Yes. Um, I think we mentioned this already. I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. Okay. Then I suggest Never you mind. Uh, question. I am hardly surprised. Actually, never Very mind. Well. Um, let's go. As you wish. Okay. That was something. That was something. Didn't learn anything new. I guess that's a thing. We're gonna make Alistair. What do you need? Like me again? Ask away. Um. Why have you remained a Templar if you hate the Chantry? Have you seen the uniform? 
It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. <clears throat> I thought most Templars wore heavy plate, though. That's just in public. In private, we have these yellow and purple tunics, right? Mm -hmm. Much more comfortable, and you don't break the beds when you jump on them during a pillow fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I, I would imagine, yeah, that it wouldn't break the beds as much. You have, you had lots of these pillow fights, I take it. Uh, pillow fights? I mean, no, of course not. I meant sword fights <laughs> with rusty swords dripping with acid, the kind that puts hair on your chest. <clears throat> you don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. I mean. <laughs> Not if it's going to lead to more of your stupid jokes. That's why I'm following this line of questioning. Because the stupid jokes are amazing. Uh, I, I do really want to know, yeah. Poke, poke, poke. Tell me everything about your life, Alistair. All right, if you insist. It's not like we have anything better to do, right? You're, ex you're exactly right, we don't. That I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. Uh, I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off, unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. Really? What did you enjoy about the training? The education, mostly, but also the discipline. You need to have a disciplined mind in order to use the abilities we have. It was difficult, but rewarding. Fair Never enough. really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic, so I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? I mean... My home was taken over by Earl Howe, so I mean... Right. Stupid of me to ask. I'm sorry. It's all right. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Yeah. Although that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good. Either way. I mean... They can be rebuilt. I suppose you're right. We can create new Grey Wardens, but we'll never get back those we lost. I wonder if it would ever feel the same. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. I mean, we're at camp, so there's not much we're supposed to be doing. Hey, oh, plus one. <laughs> Joy. Whoa. Okay, well. Is there any point that what I can you give need? you gifts? Damn it. Let me ask you something. Ask like, can I give you gifts? Why'd you keep the birthright a secret? You never asked? That's a cheap answer. <sighs> All right. If you want the full explanation, I'll give it to you. Yeah. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. I and gotcha. Then after the battle, when I should have told you. I don't know. It seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? I mean, how about, by the way, I'm the heir to the throne? Yes, well, I suppose part of me kind of liked you not knowing. Why? What happens when people find out? They treat me differently. I become the bastard prince to them, instead of just Alistair. I know that must sound stupid to you, but I hate that it shaped my entire life. I never want I to get you. And I certainly don't want to be king. The very idea of it terrifies me. <laughs> don't want to be king, why not? Hello, have you met me? I I'm no leader of men. I don't want to be the person sitting on the throne and making decisions that affect the lives of others. That it just isn't me. I get. I guess. I guess I, get I should that. be thankful that Al Eamon is far more likely to inherit the throne, if he's all right. Oh, I hope he's all right. And for what it's worth, 
I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. It was a dumb thing to do. Don't worry about it. No harm done. I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go. There we go. Oh, no plus. Damn it. What? What you doofy dog? What piff? You excited Dorcas. Okay. Pat the doggo. You're so excited. So excited. Ready to go. Let's talk to Zebra yeah, yeah. a little more. Because you're you're new. You're new. I want to know more about you. Because you're new. Uh care to answer some questions. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Why did you want to leave the crows exactly? Well now. I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin, after all, is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. Yeah. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So, if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? So, you're simply bored. <laughs> oh, I guess it's not really that. Uh, it's more of a, I was forced into this. If I can do something else, why not? So, you, what would you rather do? Now that you mention it, I am not entirely certain. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased. For three sovereigns, I'm told. Jeez. Which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy Fair all enough. their assassins that way. Buy them young, Jeez. raise them to know nothing else but murder. And if you do poorly in your training, you die. Jesus! That sounds awful. Oh, I don't know about that. The crows who are actually good enough to survive come to enjoy some of the benefits. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect. It gets you wealth. It gets you women. And men. Or whatever it is you might fancy. Okay. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. Yeah, it's still... I don't think I would like that. At all. Gilded cage is still a cage, man. Yeah, it's just... I mean, what is it you fancy exactly? I fancy many things. I fancy things that are beautiful and things that are strong. Oh. I fancy things that are dangerous I read ahead. and exciting. Would you be offended if I said I fancied you? Uh... Not at all. <laughs> this is good to know. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. Fair it enough. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Mm -hmm. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. Fair enough. Uh, won't the crows eventually find you? <laughs> eventually can be a very, very long time if one plays one's cards right. Come yeah, that's, now. that's true, I guess. Chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. All right, fair enough. All righty, eight approval. Damn, didn't expect mm. that. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've gotten all the questions I want answered. And if a line of questioning disappears, then maybe yes, something. Maybe I'm know? assuming more things than I should be with uh, Leliana. Yes? What's on your mind? Uh, do you have tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Fair enough. Oh yeah, we did talk about these. We did. Uh, there was another story I wanted to hear. Which one? What do you know about Andraste? Andraste was the maker's chosen. The maker had long since abandoned the Andraste. world when the sound of her Let's singing see. turned his ear. Beauty, grace, and wisdom enraptured him, and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the Maker was moved, and promised that he would create a paradise on Earth if all abandoned their false gods 
and turned once more to him. Mm -hmm. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium oh. to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. How did she die? Alas, it was the frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Her earthly husband, Mafarath, a chieftain of the Alamari tribes himself, grew jealous as his wife's popularity mm. and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the Maker's betrothed, and Mafarath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the Maker. Oh, Out I see where this is going. Spite, Mafarath made a pact with the Archon Hesarian of Tevinta, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and captured. Andraste was burned at the stake in Minrathus, the capital of Tevinta. Jeez. Why did the Maker not save her with his power? I had thought on this too. Did he withdraw his sight from her at that moment? Where were all the powers he bestowed upon her? This question has come to me many times, and I have no answer. Perhaps there was no way for Andraste to return to the Maker but through her death. We will never know for sure. Huh. Do you know anything about the Dalish? I have heard a little about how the Elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the Elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great Elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. He foresaw a future where the Elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed, but the Elves continued to fight, eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The Elves claimed the Dales in the south and settled there in the That's land of their own. It didn't last. The Elves lived in the Dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the Elven gods and would allow the building of no Chantry. This angered the Chantry, and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The Chantry says the Elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. Fair the enough. Chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the Elves, named for Andraste's similar march against the Winter. During the exalted march of the Dales, the Elven cities were sacked and the Elven state completely dissolved. Some Jeez. of the Elves bitterly accepted their fates and surrendered to human rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. Mm -hmm. But others still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans, and instead became homeless wanderers. Yeah. There were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. Fair enough. And let's just move on for now. Thank you for that, though. Yay, three approval. Woo. There's not much else I can talk to Sten about. All right, I think I'm, I'm done talking about things. I think I can go back to uh, doing things, stuff, stuff and things. Bring Liliana. Uh, bring Alistair. Yeah. And I guess I have to bring Indeed. Morgan. All right. Accept. And. Why is this? I, I want, I need, I need to know. I need to know. Why is this looking like this? What the? Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a comment about Dragon Age saying that she's not a healer. Well, obviously. I know that. I'm just trying to make her one. So that way I have something that I don't have to blow through every god's damn elf root in the world to try and keep ourselves alive. It's like some versatility is nice. Alright, uh, give me a second. Uh, did I mute the computer? So that doesn't happen again? Good. Alright. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Fair enough. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? 
Are you asking me to find your mule? Oh, no, no, no. I sent the elf to do that. I wouldn't dream of asking a stranger to do it. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Ah, oh, that's what this is for. I'm Tomas. Pleased to meet you. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Damn. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? What do you need? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. Really? It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? What does it do? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. Okay. As long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? What's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah. I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Huh. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely. Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. How do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> yeah, I guess. He said he got Fair it enough. from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, yeah. the low, low price. <laughs> Fair what enough. Uh, how much did you want for it? Nothing. I just don't what? want to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. Huh. It seems almost too good to be true. But I'll take it. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south in a town called Honleith. I'll Honleith. mark it here on your map. Okay. Just hold up the rod and say Dulef Gar. Dulef Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Oh, we can do. <laughs> and if it doesn't? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Fair enough. Okay. We got a control rod for a golem. And he's disappeared. Okay. Welp. Oh, and there it is. And the image is a golem, looks like. Supposedly lights, lights, lies in wait, waiting to be claimed. Hmm. 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 Really wish I could go back. I'm just happy I got everyone who was available to be recruited from that village. Recruited. Uh, otherwise, uh, it would not have been great. It would all would have been dead. Oh, boy. Ambush. Woohoo. Ambush of what? Oh, joy. Okay. Oh, whoa, okay. We got a big old bear. Big old evil bear. Gotcha. Okay, well. Bearscar. Huh. Well. And a Drake? And a Drake? Excuse me.
Okay, well, everyone's in the wrong area. There's the pathfinding decided to break there. Well, at least someone followed me. Wait, no. Ow. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Get off of me. Get off of me. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, geez. Fucking. Could you people fucking help me? There we go. Now I'll just stare at the pathfinding fucking stop breaking. Holy hell. Well. That was new. A Drake scale. A perfect Drake scale. Cool. Drake scale armor. Huh. All right. That's a thing I can do. All right. Um, let's look at that. No. No. Oh, that's DLC. That's what that is about. Okay. That explains a bit. Um, find a use for the Drake scales. Searching the carcass of a dead Drake, you found a number of undamaged scales. They're extraordinarily hard, yet light. A master armor smith may be able to make armor from them. Oh, I have to go to Denerim for that. Oh, man. Alright. Is there... Didn't I finish things for the Chanter's board? I, I thought I did that. Uh, mark is active. Go to the region marked on your map to determine the status of the conscript of Company East Hill. I guess I'll have to go there at some point. Got that. There's nothing there. Alright. Wow, that's a big-ass pool of blood. Jesus. Harold Christ. Anything over there? Nope. Okay. Had to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Alright. Okay, we're all... Good God. Well, that's a disturbing note to end on, but we're going to have to end on it because we are way over time. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and... Trying to figure out uh, what's going on <laughs> with all of this. Uh, trying to pick up, um, I guess, a golem at this point. Um, also picked up some Drake scales and learned a bit more about our companions. And some stories about the Dalish and Andraste, which is relatively useful info to know. I think, for you.